Yo. Oh, of course it does. Of course it still sees Pikmin because I fuck. Hmm. The reason this is even late is because I fucking fell asleep. And I only woke up six minutes ago. Let's enjoy Nintendo Direct September 2023. I don't fucking know what I'm putting. Category Special Events. Because this is special. Done. Changed. Hmm. Idiot. How are yous? Aye, I dozed off. And I must have slept through the alarm. And then I naturally woke up, maybe panicking that I'd slept through in a hood. So I only woke up like six minutes ago. How are yous doing? Is everybody excited for the Nintendo? Look how fucking bright it is. It, the only reason is, usually when we're streaming, it's night time. So, there's a typo in Nintendo that really. Did I fuck that up? Nintendo. It's staying. It's staying. It's the Nintendo Direct. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. Hmm. Aye, the reason it's so bright is because usually it's night time, so that's the wee bit of sun peeking in the curtain watch. If I, if I push the curtain, that's how it should look. But, there's some god rays coming in. Ah, who's here? Jambus Lang, Scientologist, Sexy Riker, Gruffy Beals, Wurba. How you's fine, folks? Has there been it? Oh, don't you get a wee bit of dust on you there? I hope. I don't think there's been any leaks for this, has there? I wasn't really aware of anything. I don't think I saw well, even patter about leaks. Oh, great, an ad for shoe. This is me just getting the fucking thing me direct stream queued up and oh, I'm well behind here. Hurry up with your advert so I can make sure it's definitely thing mine. it. Hope Nintendo will give us a new morale. Alright, oh, Mario, alright, because cause I fucked up the spelling. Nintendo. Cool, so it is there. What have we got? How long? Seven minutes. I'm not expecting much new stuff for winter, right? So more just dates and that. Well, I saw Ross saying... Um, what was it he said? And I get, I get what he was meaning. He was saying, like... There's been so much Switch 2 chat, and everybody knows a new one will be due soon. He's saying, so what you're looking at is more like towards the end of the console's life cycle. All the big stuff is out. So what you're probably going to be seeing is weird things. If it's anything new, you know, like, no just third party stuff or that. Um, you might see like some weird shit. Some interesting stuff that... Because you know what it's like a lot of the time with these shows? You know sometimes you watch like the big presentation and then after it, like, just on a website, there'll be a trailer for something, and it looks dead interesting and cool, and you think, where the fuck was that in the show? So there might be they kind of things, I don't know. Ross seems to have, like, a better, better handle on being realistic about this shit than I do, and I, I see it quite often when he's talking about stuff, and I think, aye, aye, right enough, he kind of knows what he's on about. Thank you for the sub, Little Lodge. Little Lodge says, Mario. And they're correct to do so. The best games appear in those montage trails at the end. <laughs> Calm down. Don't say anything too mental. I don't even know if there's anything. I'm like, oh, I hope I see this. I can't even think of anything that it's been like... I don't know. How dare you disagree with me? 
unsubbing. Is that even a thing you can do on Twitch? Don't know how that works. Did you know Fae Farm is out? I don't care, but Nintendo seemed to want me to know. I'm very well aware I have been a... I think I've been getting the same... The same push. Yo! John Mayhem, resub. Cheers, pal. Says hello. Hello to you. And the toilet duck has gifted <laughs> a sub to Scientologist. I <laughs> fuck wrong button. I'm glad you pushed the wrong button. Cheers for that, Aiden. Aiden, are you still. You're still on holiday? The last I saw you were abroad. God, this is so weird with the blinding light coming in. That's better. Maybe they just like tape this cut and shut in future if that happens again. Get back in Monday morning, I back at work. God, and you come back right as the weather cooled right down. So I, I didn't know Gum Gumbrella was out so soon. Like, I thought it was still weeks and weeks away. And I was just seeing a couple of folk chatting about it, and when, like, you're saying, they're all going, oh, it's out tomorrow. Like, what the fuck? Ah, there's some weird... See, things like that as well. Like, how hard Nintendo's pushing Fae Farm. That makes me hope, like, maybe there's something here that we've not even heard about. And I saw somebody else saying, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD on Switch, which... I, I want you to bring normal Wind Waker to the Switch, but just pretty it up. Just pretty it up. What about the exact same with the Batman Kaito remaster? I it was an it was actually an email about. I think it was an email for like, yes, we can get the physical copy, and I'm thinking, oh, like a pre-order, and I like you'll say, no, it's out tomorrow. Enjoy. There's a lot of stuff missing me now, and you know, I still feel like if um, if Nobelian was on Twitter, I feel like I would have known about a lot of these things. Right, I didn't, I, I didn't know Mortal Kombat came out the day. That's quite funny. That's pretty funny. That I, I know tons of folk that play fighting games that tweet about it all the time, and I didn't even know. Mortal Kombat was out the day, that's good. That's pretty good. I've seen clips, man, it just looks like it plays like a Mortal Kombat. Those weird, weird fucking animations that just happen. And they ramp up on a punch. And guy goes for crouching to just fully stood with an arm extended. Millions of dollars. Hmm. Oh no, that's what it is. Early access premium edition bullshit. Aye, it's it's just becoming more and more of a thing. If you pay us an extra thirty five quid, we'll let you play it on somebody said it the other day and people jumped on them but they were fucking right. They says why should I pay extra to play a game on its real release date? And people were saying, No no, it's out a week later, that's the release date. It's been finished for fucking ages. And the date that you can pay for it and get it on is its release date. That's the real release date. Fucking vultures, man. Sorry for spitting eggs back into the glass in front of you there. Right. 30 seconds. Let's get ready for this shit. That's not the right thing. That's the camera pushed away up there. Jesus fucking Christ, man. There's the state at the top of my desk. Hiya, here's me down here. Check out my receipts. Check out the receipts I need to keep in tap of for eBay selling purchases. eBay selling purchases? I've not even moved. No, I did move it. Hold on. There, I did move it. I moved it over. Desktop audio. Let's see what we've got. Oh. You don't need to tell me about audio. Straight into it. It's very loud in my ears. How do I turn this down? 
There we go. Jesus Christ. Splatoon 3 DLC? Man, I kind of fell off Splatoon 3 big time. I'm a, I'm a main story dude anyway for Splatoon. I'm not much of the multiplayer, but the main story just kind of... I felt like the new characters didn't get enough. You know? This looks like a salmon run type stuff. Is the volume alright? Who's that? Volume good. Is this going to be like the Opto expansion thing for... Platoon 3. Acht. Is that no German? Acht. Rest restoring colour to the world? Because I quite like that. It means A. Ah! Of course it does. Because she's an octopus. Uh, I get it. Not a good trailer. Nothing about that really wowing me. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. All right, big man. You just saw oh. a new trailer for Wave Two of the Splatoon Three Expansion Pass DLC. But no money for good trailers, guy. <laughs> Aye. Side order. New story is set in the right, of order, so it's no like auto expansion. The We're developing this single player DLC so it can What's with it flicking in out? That's no me. It's planned to release in spring. That's no one mine. Something's fucked up with him. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Here we go. Was that spring next year? Fuck off if that's what date that was. Just Donkey Kong. Mario. The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. Oh. On the prize. Donkey Kong has stolen. I think I recognize this. Toys from the factory. And it's up to Mario to track him down. In each stage, contraptions and other challenges await. These games are not good. Oh, great. Observation and action are vital to your success. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? If Mario does this, now he can get across. And safely grab the key. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Like that. Handstand jump. Observe and act to collect mini Marios, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co op. However so it's not a new game. Through, it's up to you to recover the toys. It is like a, a redo of the old. Donkey Kong launches on Nintendo Switch February 16th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That looks fucking shit. Save the prince. Here we go. This looks good. I've already seen everything I need to see about it, really, but it's combat looked fucking sweet. And restore the world's balance. See that thing with the was it the sword that places a point in time you can zip back to? Action adventure gameplay. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological Persian-inspired world, but don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Harness sword and bow techniques. 
as well as time powers. Love a juggle. These hostile lands. As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited, though, so choose wisely. I know how games work, mate. Everything at your disposal to navigate this harsh world. Parry that tail. The mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Mount Calf. When Prince of Persia, the Lost I'm still in it. on the Nintendo Switch still system, January 18th. You can receive the in-game Warrior Within outfit by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo eShop. <laughs> What are with that outfit? Will help you chase your passions. Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Speed through stunning environments, each with its own. Don't think I've ever really heard them be talking about Horizon Chase. Your rivals on the road. Let me check Play something. The main campaign to unlock vehicles, courses, and more. You can also upgrade Eyes are full your quality. And style they're just, they're just recorded it in shape quality. Pitching for more racing action? Up to four speedsters can put the pedal to the metal in couch co-op or online. Go full throttle. Looked like some insane rubber banding going on with the player characters there. Later today. Aye, very mobile port, isn't it? Musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Time your button presses with the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks away. Strange looking. Music from iconic Konami games. Vampire Killer. Bloody Tears. Can battle it out in versus modes or So it's like theater rhythm. Or online play. Super crazy kind of idea. Launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Those are strange wee sprites. Surprised to see a game in this. Creating a photo diary. On weekdays, you'll head to class, then enjoy family time in the evenings. Are they doing the visit all sorts of exciting places? Thing me no Natsuyami. Or an art museum. Why is it? Search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? I think they might be doing the diary. Will you help Anya make? Spy Anya, Operation you know, Memories, launches you call on it? Nintendo Switch next year. Summer thing. You know, the game. Mario's first RPG adventure. We know returns. that. The Super Mario RPG I do like that design for Mario. Updated graphics. Let's go over some I like how squat he is. Gameplay features. No, I, I don't mean Shin-chan, but you know, is it Boku no Natsuyami? I can never remember the name. Or decreased damage received. You know the old you're a wee boy on holiday, summer vacation, catch bugs with Annette. I think it's meant to be like that kind of stuff for Anya. That's what you sue me, thank you. There's that guy, nobody ever shuts the fuck up about. Gen, is that his name? Gen? During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful. I never played Mario RPG. No, Gino. Geno. Doesn't matter. I love his wee hair though. Love his hair is like what do you call it when you shave wood? Is it planing? Set off for Mario and friends. When you shave wood. Yeah, you know what I mean. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Ah, when you shave wood. Hey. Uh, uh. Look alive. We're almost there. <sighs> Another code? The Nintendo DS Have they re they've remade another code? Holy fuck! That's cool! Fuck! Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island. Thing is, you're gonna miss out on all the things that the DS brought to it. That hinder her investigation. You know, the, the puzzles involve things like closing and. Uh, how's that gonna change? Another code's good fun. It had that really charming thing at Early as the Ghost, Early DS games. 
where the DS was in the game, but it had a different name. You know, can they use the Joy-Cons to replicate stuff with the DS? Oh, you just got a switch in the game. Who are you? The sequel, another code R. Journey into the doing that as well. Previously unreleased in North America is also I've never played that, but I've got like a sealed like Wii copy there that I've always been meaning to play. To experience the full story, unravel both adventures. That's cool though, that's that's pretty cool. When another code recollection launches January 19th. I'll need to go on another code R at some point. Didn't expect to see that. Another code recollection includes you doing DS games, mate? DS game trace Tell me about a little game called Flower, Sun and Rain. North America. Both games Go ahead. Fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to Come on. Them early next year. Next, please take a look at this. Come on. That's not it. <laughs> I'm not being funny, right? But that's, that's plenty of fucking Mario, mate, you know? I know you're that company, but. Fuck it out, you know? The Wicked Grape and the Sour Bunch suddenly. The Wicked Grape. And took center stage. Now, it's up to Peach and the theater's guardian Stella to save the play and the day. What does it play like? This perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Fusion? Peach transformed into Sword Fighter Peach. Right, By right, well then that kind of thing. Alright. Oh, see that slow-mo on the dodge? Can Peach save this I quite like that, see when she was hitting them there? They dramatically spun away. You know, because it's the play, I quite like that. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become detective. Man, this looks cool. Clues and track down who done it. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into patissier peach and save it from a sugar crash. The sour bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become kung fu peach and take it back from these foul fiends. Nice. I quite like the look of this. It feels like it could be like Many other a lot of wee mini game type things, you know. The stage is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach, showtime makes it stay. I meant it that. Oh, March twenty second. So I'm even closer than that. I'll definitely play that. Hope Ross is having a good time seeing that. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. In Peach's latest adventure, the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today. That's what so I was hoping to hear. Yeah. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga begins. Never touch the saga games. A multi-layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in well, that saga looked weird. and beyond. There are six heroes to choose from. A young man One of them was just on a motorbike. A witch disguised as a that style looks like, you know when somebody puts out an ENB cell shading shader? That's what that looks like. Songstress mech. Are these all new people for the saga stuff? As they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. I don't know. It's a, just a new saga game, right? There you go. More than ever before seen in the saga franchise. By 
participate in timeline battles, turn-based combat. Just, that's just a big cat. Is crucial to it's just a big cat, yeah. Use special techniques to control the order of actions, or activate team combos to swing the. Ah, oh, that looks like it plays a bit like the Atelier battle system. Saga Emerald Beyond launches on Nintendo Switch next year. All right. The legendary raider returns. Okay. Anniversary edition and all that. The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in uh, one. Oh, all three. As the fearless archaeologist. So have they just taken the anniversary one and like and face off against deadly foes? Thing made it over. Deadlier legends. Climb, backflip. State of that T-Rex. Spanning different countries and mythologies. Along the way, you'll solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the I think they've maybe the done just like the anniversary this one. Fully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game. You can also toggle between the original I feel like look that's what the upgraded visuals. I do like when they let you toggle. That is nice. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered. No, it seems like that's a new thing, so just on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Okay. This detective's got a second bolt of brilliance. Every great detective starts their day early. This, this still rhyme city. looks strangely flat. Coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu and his you know what it is? It's, it's as if it's just there's no detail on them, texture-wise. Like, Tim Pikachu doesn't look... Pikachu interviews it looks like he could be made of plastic instead of, like, hairy. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. It really looks like a 3DS game Robert. and you're emulating it on your PC. Rocks with Darmanitan. And peer through Weird. walls with Luxray. Don't know who that is, mate. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries and find Harry? Me too, just kicking a bit on the roof. Aye, fine. Find out when Detective Pikachu returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. Pre-orders are available now. I don't remember much Nintendo chat about the first Detective Pikachu on 3DS. This game's a real toot. I thought this was Deed Man. This day long joke. Raise your brass for the quirky rhythm game. Folk tried to keep it gone for a couple of weeks and it just uh, it died on its arse within about half an hour. When was the last time you heard anybody talk about this? Exactly. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up and down. Or the IR motion camera on the right Joy-Con controller. The controls are pretty unique, and mastering every control scheme won't be a walk in the park. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres. From it feels more than a year late with a bar. And everything in between. I'd be interested to know when this. I don't know what it's together. called, trombone here or something. When that actually happened, I think it's probably more than a year. Trombone champ slides onto Nintendo Switch later today. No. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Ten teams of three will duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Yeah. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow, or shove them off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from 15 heroes. Oh, that's their version of the storm thing. The actual terrain collapses. Work with your allies to be the last team standing. Battle Crush is free to play and launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch next spring. A closed beta test will be available this October. Okay. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world tactical RPG. Take up various contracts from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with this has massive PC game ported to Switch feeling. Another day, a 
up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. Uh, there you go. War Tales. There you go, that's why. Right. timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Run and gun. In Contra? In imagining of the beloved NES classic, Contra. Blast through explosive stages with a devastating arsenal of weapons to crush the Red Falcon forces. Spring into action with easy pick up and play control. I kind of don't like the art style it's went for. This reimagining from Konami and Way Forward features new weapons, enemies, powerful super attacks, and a four player co op mode. Contra. Didn't they bring out a four player Contra not that long ago and it was terribly received? Liberate your kingdom. Reclaim your death. That looks like vanilla wear. Tis a grievous tale which speaks of Febrith, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. We'll know if we see a big pair of tits. By immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again. Ring of legend. There they are, vanilla wear. That is the ring of the unicorn. Maybe it is, isn't he? Ancestral treasure. Maybe somebody just really loves vanilla wear. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Lovely art. I just don't really like the what it's doing, if you know what I mean. It's not my kind of thing. Freely traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies. Forge your bonds. And lead the it, it probably isn't even a victory. Cultivate a grand army with over sixty you know, elite characters. Is this ogre battle? I don't even know enough about ogre battle. Massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, That's vanilla wear. Years. The I the tits and the food gave it away. The rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Oh, Unicorn Overlord. Oh. Available March right. 8th, 2020. It's not the name I was expecting. Tets of the food. Get away. Luigi? What are we doing here, mate? Egad coming through? That's Dark of the Moon. It makes sense because they did it with the first one, didn't they? I think. I think they did. Did they? For they said the, the original was getting that treatment and coming to the Switch. I feel like they said that. They remade the first one in 3DS. That's what I'm thinking of then. I didn't even own. With Dark of the Moon is... Use it to light up dark areas. I think that Luigi's Mansion is 1 is perfect in that series. The it's a handy tool 3 goes on a bit long, but I think 3 is better than 2. Plus, it's been years though, it's been years. Pop. You can stun them with the strobal. Then vacuum them up. I think I say that every time. I just prefer... The ghosts were the generic in the first one, like they were in 2 and 3. They were all unique ghosts. It was all... I just, I just think it worked better. Plus, the actual environments looked more realistic. I don't know how I call it. Like, spookier. And that was on the damn GameCube. Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across It was darker than what oh god, multiplayer puts your your teammates at half frame rate apparently. It was called like something dark of the moon. It's weird that they would take that away if that's the case. Next, we have two announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. I'm sorry if you can hear school children being loud outside, it's the... they've been let out. 
Right, by question mark. What's that? It's a large question block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, the Kyoto what? Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. Right. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products... This shouldn't really be taking up space in a direct... Construction is going well. I can't just fucking go there, can I? It's in Japan, mate. <laughs> I can, I, you know, I can get the games that you advertise, but it's just... Come on, mate. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. The Zelda and Ganondorf Amiibo figures Done with the game. On November 3rd. Don't care, mate. And Amiibo figures of Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles oh. 3 game. Show me Matthew from the DLC. On January 19th, Let's talk about Matthew. And finally, nah. we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, is on the way. I genuinely thought I already had one. Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in Amiibo form. Please look forward to its release. I like that they've got a nice texture on his, his weird... I don't even know what you call that. Onesie shorts. Next, Whatever that red thing he wears is. His romper. Right. Aye. And is it going to do the wipe and change graphics, is it? Aye. First F -Zero game. Returns as a <laughs> all right. Aye, all right. That's nowhere I thought it was gone. Race Fucking hell. A lot of people are going to be happy about that. Original Super NES game. Through courses and high speed races, but be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. Right, that's how they'll do it. You're out. Oh, Dorothy. Avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the This is an insane decision. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide. To boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's your best chance at bypassing your rivals and jumping That's pretty cool. your position. Complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. This is weird. I they really hate F Zero fans. I think I know some F Zero fans that will really enjoy this. To race your way to first place. Genuinely thought we were going to see the, the classic white across to updated visuals or something, but no. We need a term for that when they're not remaking a game. They're turning it into a 99 game. Didn't that already exist? You will give it a try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. Or is that them getting the American colours finally? One instead of the correct hero, colours? I think I'm gonna hate this already. I'm sorry, I just I know things Welcome about Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. So the portals up fucked up the Yordles. Magic to stitch Vandal City back together. In Vandal City. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. It's got a really nice uh, art style. Crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical eh, adventure? So an offensive nice game. Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends, Nu Nu and Willem, on a journey across Willem. the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, 
You're seeing this as if I should know these characters already. Oh, are these League of Legends characters? There you go, that's why. Song of Nunu, a League of Legends story, launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 1st. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Let's move into formation. Play with these chumps that don't feel like a prize. Greetings. Welcome to the island. Is this different for the this tropical resort contains Aye. tons of micro games that'll get your body moving. Wait, is it? Is this different to what we'd go In before the, the WarioWare thing? Specific pose called a form. Copy the form shown, then perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand model. Hand model. The micro games will That's quite cool. Another, so look alive. Plus, up to four players can battle it out in party mode. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Three. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes aplenty, everyone's in for a wacky time. Oh, I do love Watch the mad clash and art style stuff they come out with. Pre-orders are available. So that is that different from what we'd seen before. A heroic tale will soon unfold. That looks like Suicoden type. No. An army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's invasion. Oh, it's the uh, why guy, the thing he backed on fucking Kickstarter about three years ago. Same, an officer from the It's because I've just kind of ignored every email update about it. Because I was like, I just don't want to know. I just together to fight for a common makes goal. sense. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their. Ah, uh, Sharkman. This is your home base, known as the headquarters. It is very funny when people go to Kickstarter and they're like legally distinct game that we used to work on. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Just have a big scrap in the home base. Trust. Frame rate struggling Trust. there, mate. Justice and truth. A heroic tale will begin when Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo Switch April, April 23rd. Participate in some pixel perfect play. Come on, we've got like seven minutes left. Next stop, Octopia. Oh, I have just been saying that's to Eastwood. Parallel world in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new East was another one I was really, really looking forward to, and then it was just like it didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. It kind of restore buildings to help the village thrive. I don't know. And if you're new to Eastward, don't worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the It did story. a thing that I've found with a lot of indie games like this with this pixel holiday. styles where it's like somebody's baby Get back into the and it almost feels like they forgot that you don't know all the details of these characters and you don't get any real background type details but moments are supposed to hit in a certain way and they don't because you don't even though it yields to get to know them, if that makes sense. Happens with a lot of stuff like that, for me anyway. Is this legally distinct advance walls? Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. That's quite cool. War Groove 2 marches onto Nintendo Switch as a console. Create your own cutscenes. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. That's cool. Oh, it's the Dive and Dave or whatever it's called, isn't it? Something like that. It's got a guy's name. There you go, Dive and Dave, same thing. Use the fish you've caught to concoct recipes and create the day's menu. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. 
Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best. Oh, it's a mantis shrimp. Is it? The ones that do the big. Dave the diver launches big punch. first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. Pre-orders and I thought that was actually already it. Oh, a narwhal. The final wave is racing in. Fucking die, mate. I'm sick of you. The final wave of the Sorry. Booster course Sorry. I just... From the Mario Kart Wii game. Dave Fucking, I just don't like Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Characters are also being and I thought the last wave had happened. I thought it was like... This is the last one. From Mario Kart Wii, Funky Kong. And from the Mario Kart Tour game, Pauline. And also, Key Jet. What's different? Is she Wii? Wave 6 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. Four the minutes. DLC can also be purchased on its own. Come on, four minutes. Something is Fuck off! Sh oh, come on, man. Fuck off. Give us another hello neighbor after this. Fuck me. I'm d I'm just- I feel so fucking done, man. Stop advertising the same games to me. going to be some island survival shit. Are they just doing Lord of the Flies on the ground? New map for Among Us is free and launches this October. What did you think? Thanks for Sweetie, fuck me. This far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. So stuff we already know about. That's cool about another code. And that. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. This next video will be our last announcement. Please take a look. Let's see. I'm gonna end up hating it, I know. Right. It's no Thousand Year Door remake, is it? That is the thing that people have been desperate for. Never played Thousand Year, yeah, Thousand Year Door. As soon as, soon as I saw her, that's when I realised.
I read that as fuckhead for a second. That's it's good though, isn't it? Fans of the Thousand Year Door will finally get a chance to play it. Originally released on Nintendo GameCube, will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope I wonder how much of the part will change. In a paper world starring Mario and I always heard people saying that a lot of the chat in the game feels very not Nintendo. Thank you for watching. Like not safe. I don't know, man. Again, I wish I'd written each thing down. I keep talking about, keep talking about wanting to take a note of each thing so that after this, because if I actually looked at whatever it was, there's probably loads of stuff I'm I'm into that I just forget so quickly, and then end up feeling like this. I should know better. Pardon me, I should know better. Oh, I'm looking at the Twitch chat. Thousand Year Door, Thousand Year Door. These people have never played the game. And they've adopted an opinion from their favourite YouTuber. I'm sorry, it's just funny. It's funny to piss people off with that stuff. Makes me feel good. Yeah. Princess Peach Superstar, another code R. Prince of Persia, that was your lot. Aye, maybe. I'm re I'd, I'd be really interested in just playing that remake of the first Another Code to see what they've done with the DS stuff. I don't, I don't really know Super Mario RPG, I never played it. Never played Super Mario RPG when it, when it was originally out and about. Don't know. What if they sent the little Mario to your house as a treat? No, I'd, I'd probably beat him. Uh, they're coming near me. New Love Delete game on the Japanese Direct, apparently. What? Tulip 2? Seriously? Aye, we get Amogus, they get Tulip 2. Surely no. Not actually Tulip 2, right? That's. Aye, but still, Love Delete? It's weird that, like, in this day and age, when almost nothing is exclusive to a region, that we still get separate things in the directs. You know what I mean? It's just a bit... It feels a bit daft. What is it? Stray children? Fuck it, Larry. Let's, let's watch this. Cool, cool. No, I don't. Beam. The name sounds familiar. That's a love delete game. さん、目覚めるとそこは子供だけが暮らす子供たちの国だった。and then started this. Otonato no battle deva, Tatakau, Dakeja Naku, 
言葉も有効だ。I love that whispery voice. 怒ったり、詰めたり、笑ったり。I think that's you talking with the monsters. I 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 think that's you talking with the monsters. I'm interested. I'm interested in it. Moon's really good side, but it's a.、Um, it's one of those games where it feels like it's kind of pushing back against you, you know? And I suppose if you don't really know about Moon, maybe Moon didn't do that well over here when it got ported and shit. I don't know how to decide on what. Doesn't Disney get brought over or shown even? Numbers in it. Mere numbers. Man, I just. I'd love to end one of these feeling like, yes. Yes, I'm so excited. Like, oh, they showed something right at the end and I'm so fucking up for it. I would love to. Love to feel that. But I can't remember the last time there was any feeling like that. Which is it's going to be even funnier、uh, at 10 pm tonight when we're watching the state of play. Because I'm going to have to, gonna have to watch the, the state of play. I like the look of that game. You've seen there are others like it. Oh, Gruffy Bears. It's、uh, Onion Games or like Love the Leak.、Um, uh, Moon. Remix RPG.、Um, it's a really, really old. It's really old. An old game. And it recently got like an English port a couple of years ago. Maybe longer than that. But aye. Or did you get that with Saga? See, that's what I would. That, that's the thing though. Be like, even, even if there's something really good in the middle, it's never the end. It's never at the end. Like, oh, one more thing. I don't think I've ever had the. Oh, they're fucking d e a l They've done it. They're really d e a l i n it. Hmm. It's fine. It's fine. It's just games, mate. It's just my. My favourite thing in the world. It doesn't matter. Oh, is that, that new Monster Hunter's out, isn't it? Monster Hunter Now? Or is it Monster Hunter Go? Or are people calling it Monster Hunter Go? Aye, that, that's a big part of it. Look, what they were saying there, the kind of games I'm into these days are not the games that can serve as showstoppers these days. It's absolutely that. Like,、um, it's always going to be the return of an old beloved thing, a port of an old beloved thing, or the next entry in one of the big games. You know, it's always going to be. It reminds me of. This is kind of unfair, right? But I saw somebody on letter,、uh, Letterbox backlogged. And it was.、Uh, the bio was something like. Really hard to please. Da 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 da. And then it said they were 19. <laughs> and their favourite games listed on there was. Marvel Spider Man. God of War, God of War Ragnarok,、uh, and maybe two more of that game. You know the game? I think Last of Us one or two was in there. And it just, it was really hard not to be like, mate, mate, I know you're 19, but you're saying you're hard, hard to please. Mate, come on. I'm sorry if you're here, but it just made me. It made me laugh at fuck. <clears throat> I'm so hard to please. <gasps> a new 
first Sony, first party, third person's feeling shooter. Sign me the fuck up. Hmm. Hard to please if the main character has less than one billion polygons on his nipple, I can't play it. I wonder how many polygons they had on the fully modelled nipples they had in that sequel to Horizon. That was so fucking weird. That was still very weird that Aloy has modelled nipples. Fucking bizarre, man. Hmm. I remember the first time I saw that and folk were like, right, somebody's modded that. And then it was like, no. It was a vanilla copy of the game. That, oh, aye, to save the model's time, that's what it was. Somebody went, look, they're going to do it anyway. Is that one of the... Would you not have to get permission for the body you're using the face of? I think they used somebody's face. I think it was the, the actress's face. For Aloy. Unless there's some David Cage shit going on there. They were definitely considering doing some Game of Thrones full frontal sex scenes at some point to secure prestige status. It's going to happen at some point, isn't it? It's going to happen at some point. I think I might just be getting harder to please, but I think that's just because I have less time for games. That's, ah, fuck, that's probably part of it and all. But, I think it's hard to deny. Well, maybe it's really easy to deny. Maybe it's easy to refute, and it's like, you're just getting older, guy. But it does feel as if... Games used to be less samey. It... I think, no. That so much money gets put into so many games that you end up with things like a, a lot of the criticism I saw about FF16, I've not played it yet, but a lot of the criticism I've seen from people was about how it's kind of trying to be everything at once and please everybody, and the actual like identity of the game or of like a vision gets lost in it all. And I've heard that for a few games over the last few years where they're trying to be... It makes sense, right? But it's like they're trying to get the most eyes on it because then that's the most wallets picking it up, isn't it? It's like... What was the chat the other day about FF16 where it was Square Enix's usual of like, didn't they sell a kajillion? Fuck, why do you always do this to yourselves? They always predict an insane number that they've never fucking sold. No, even a new mainline entry in maybe your biggest series. And then it's like, oh, I guess it was a, a partial failure. Fuck, man. It was only, it was 800 million in profit, no enough. Aye, games getting pricier to make is getting hand in hand with poor sales getting more disastrous. Totally. And see this, what is it, six, seven years sometimes for a, a dev cycle? That's fucking insane, man. Square Enix does this to devalue your stock so they can rebuy it. Jesus. Is that a thing? Aye, there again, there's Ben pointing out. Our PS5 exclusive didn't sell a trillion copies. I no shit. Aye, stuff like that. They've done this two dozen times. Really? Fucking hell. That's depressing, man. It is. It's, it's depressed. I feel like too many of these watching a games presentation ends with me talking this way. This has happened too many fucking times where... We're sitting here lamenting the state of the industry. <laughs> and then it's like, you ready for 10 o'clock the night for the state of play? Fuck, man. I don't even know enough about the industry. I'm a player. I've helped work on one game. Just. Hmm. 
Looking forward to later when Last of Us 2 remake. Ah, uh, genuinely. Right, so Ben, I thought you were joking. There was chat of today we uh what do you call it? Not a patent, but register like a copyright thing. And it was some suggesting some kind of update to Last of Us 2. Genuinely. So don't be shocked if there's some later. But it feels like if that's real, shut that fucking studio down, man. Like, creatively bankrupt as fuck. It's The Last of Us 2 with a new cover in that set. Fuck. Hmm, 90 quid. <laughs> Aye, 90 quid. Ah, right. That made me laugh, so I'm feeling less miserable about the the state, the, my perceived state of the industry. I think it's undeniable there's problems, but I'm not going to pretend that my my outsider look is what's actually happening in the industry, because that's just nonsense, man. To think that, but because you know some people that make games on Twitter, because you know some of them and your mates work for companies that you fucking can everything that's going on. I'm not. I, I, I'm not going to pretend that. But for the outside, it looks fucking grim. So, who knows where it's going to... Hmm. Is another code being made by the other sing guy that's making the Hitler game? What is the Hitler game? Oh! What was that again? I forgot about that, would have What was that again, the... I, I I just I, I was like kind of like I'd seen it at a glance and I'm forgetting. Uh, the guy who wrote Hotel Dusk is making a game about Hitler's son, right? Hitler game, Hotel Dusk. Here we go. Dark auction, Hitler's estate. There's a fucking... Look at him hiding there in the background. <laughs> and he's like, ah, no collects, bitch. He's in Aggie Games has announced Dark Auction, Hitler's Estate, a new authentic mystery adventure game featuring a story written by Hotel Dust Room 215 and Trace Memories writer Rika Suzuki and character designed by Gangster. Oh, the author of Gangster, Kosuke. It will launch for Switch and PC via Steam in 2024 with English, Japanese, traditional Chinese, simplified Chinese language support. Uh, key visual. <laughs> it's not actually about Hitler's son, is it? The game is a mystery adventure centering on the idea of a historical figure having surreptitiously bequeathed a fictitious estate following the drama that plays out among the characters face with an enigma extending all the way into the modern world. Tale unfolds in an ancient castle in 1981, 36 years after Hitler's death. 18-year-old protagonist Noah is determined not to turn out like his father. No. It can't be! He's 18 and Hitler's the- The boy's from Brazil! He doesn't look Brazilian. Uh, no idea the kind of person he wants to be. Noah takes part in a mysterious auction held at the old castle and as someone living in 1980s comes to terms with the absurdity of the trauma the war left behind, learning of the truth hidden deep within those affected, ultimately closing in on the big secret his father has been concealing. When we learn about history, we think about the present and what it means to be human. Thinking about the past also means thinking about the future. Throughout the flow of time, the long flow of time, certain individuals are predestined to make history. A projection of and projection onto the times in which they lived. Hitler was one such individual, an evil spectre at the heart of the tumult of the Second War. What if behind the scenes, as a final act, he sought to bequeath something to the next generation? In the 1980s, in a Germany still haunted by this dark spectre, how did the youngsters who found themselves entangled with his estate react? How did their perceptions of the future change? My goal is to portray the human drama at the heart of it all. Right, 
all I saw was this. And somebody going, mm, give me a bit of Hitler. And I wrote it off. But man, this, this is fucking mental. <laughs> what we all know, we all know that Hitler died in Berlin in 1945. What this game presupposes is, what if he didn't? It does feel like a kind of dark place bit, doesn't it? Wow. Jesus. We should give him the Persona Hitler sunglasses. There we go. Goth Marengu, son of Hitler. Like, that sounds exact, doesn't it? That sounds like exa like Goth Marengu, son of Hitler. That is exactly what it would be called. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's cheered me right up. Thanks, Hitler. Um. Uh... I wonder if this is one of those ones where... No, don't click that. Uh, the, I wonder if this is one of these ones where even if it's brilliant, folk are going to be like, like reviewing it and then be like, and I, I'd just like to say that I, I know the things he did. Were, you know when people do the... They think they need to do like an apology along with something because a certain subject matter, like, I'd love to see that. God, imagine at the bottom of a review, like a thing for fucking Zoomers and that, like, here's a link to explain what World War II was. I did not know Hitler did that on following now. <laughs> there. There it is. Playing the Hitler game on the bus and shaking my head whenever Hitler is on the screen. Aye, <laughs> so people know. You don't want a lassie thinking that you agree with all of that. Hmm. Full disclosure, the publisher gave me a review code for free and Hitler was responsible for the death of millions of Jewish people. Ah, you've got, you've got to find out more here. And it's a YouTuber explaining it. Man. What interesting times we live in. Fuck, <laughs> there's the clip. We all know what Hitler did, and that was not on. Here's a site's policy on genocide, right? You're getting too good at the patter. And I've got a million things today before... Before tonight. Possible conflict of interest. I am, in fact, Hitler's son. Ah, <sighs> right. Thank you for joining me. You should take care of yourselves, brush and flush your teeth, wash your arse, and try with the best person you can be in your day to day life. And I'll see yous another time. Maybe I'll see some of the night at 10 o'clock. I think the state of play is on at 10, so we'd start at like quarter two. So, you should take care of yourselves. Cheers for the sub, Big Billy. Thank you very much. Goodbye.